Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 160 solution. So today's aptitude questions I have taken from the concept of time, speed and distance. So we are going to discuss about three questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is, the distance from town A to town B is 5 miles. C is 6 miles from B. Which of the following could be maximum distance from A to C? So what they have given is they have given the distance between two towns, town A and town B as 5 miles. And C is, that is another town, town C is 6 miles from B. Which of the following could be maximum distance from A to C they are asking. So uh, we will assume it in a diagrammatic form. So assume that uh, this starting point, this starting point where I have kept the cursor is there. No? So assume it as A and the center position assume it as b so this distance is going to be 5 miles okay so a's distance is going to a point is going to be here b point is going to be here and the distance is going to be 5 miles and what they are saying c is 6 miles from b so c is 6 miles from b means b is at the center position so if it is on the other side so right hand side if it is means 6 miles c will come to this position and if it is on the other side means c will come on this particular position okay so uh, this is 5 miles and plus 1 is going to be 6 miles so b is at the center position and c is on that uh, circle that last curve okay it is going to be here either it is going to be here or it is going to be here and what they are asking in the question which of the following could be maximum distance from a to c so this is the point a and if c is here means this will be the minimum distance so minimum distance is going to be one mile they are asking the maximum distance so maximum distance means c should be on the opposite side so here already from a to b is going to be five miles and from the center point to the c position is going to be six miles so six plus five eleven miles so option a is going to be the correct answer for the first question and the second question is two men a and b start from place x walking at four half kilometer per hour and 5 3 by 4 kilometer per hour respectively how many kilometer apart they are at the end of 3 1 by 2 hours if they are walking in the same direction so they have given the speed of two men's a and b they are walking in the same direction and how many kilometer they have walked at the end of three and a half hours they are asking so we have to assume it the relative speed so relative speed in same direction means what we'll be doing so speed uh, we will be subtracting so 5 3 by 4 minus 4 1 by 2 if you do which will be getting the relative speed as 1 1 by 4 time also they have given as 3 1 by 2 now we have to identify the distance between them so distance is equal to speed into time so speed is going to be 5 by 4 into time is going to be 7 by 2 how they have converted the mixed fraction into improper fraction so solving this particular equation you will be getting the answer as 4 3 by 8 kilometers so option d is the correct answer for the second question and the last question is p is faster than q q p and q each walk 24 kilometer the sum of their speeds is 7 kilometer and the sum of times taken by them is 14 hours. Then P speed is equal to what they are asking. So actually they have given two persons. P is walking faster than Q. P and Q walk 24 kilometers. So they both walk 24 kilometers. Sum of their speeds is going to be 7 kilometers per hour. So sum of their speeds means if P's uh, kilometer is going to be X and Q's kilometer is going to be y means x plus y equal to 7 kilometer they are saying and the sum of times taken by them is 14 hours so total time taken by them together is going to be 14 hours so we have to find out the p speed so uh, we don't know what is going to be this p speed so we are going to take it as x kilometer per hour and then q speed is going to be 7 minus x because their sum speed is going to be 7 so if p speed is going to be x means q speed will be 7 minus x and what they are saying sum of their time is going to be 14 hours so distance divided by speed we have to take so p speed uh, distance is going to be 24 so 24 kilometer only they are covering so 24 divided by x plus q's uh, time is going to be 24 divided by 7 minus x so time is equal to distance divided by speed so that is only we are taking so adding both these times you will be getting the total time as 14 hours so solving this particular equation in the quadratic equation form and solving for the value of x you will be getting the value of x is going to be 
3 or 4. So since P is faster than Q, we have to take the larger value of X. So X value is going to be 4. So P speed is going to be 4 km per hour and Q speed is going to be 3 km per hour. So from this given question, they are asking only P speed. So option B 4 km per hour is the correct answer for the last question. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, Please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So see you in the next video. Until then stay tuned. Signing off from you. Bye. Take care.